you're not going to handle the goat, so I'm going to wear the gloves. Okay. It seems like the tanning solution must be pretty hardcore. That's why you're wearing the gloves and the safety goggles. It's not the friendliest stuff, no. Okay. And you just kind of stretch it out. But I'll show you this cute little face. Oh my god. And once it's dry, it's going to be really, really beautiful. It's, it's not for weaklings. Yeah. <laughs> not for the faint of heart. Video portraits of American trendsetters. 10 cities across the country, five episodes in each city. This week in Philadelphia, we're hanging with Beth Beverly of Diamond Tooth Taxidermy. I want to know about this hat right here. That was for the Kentucky Derby. I would have to kind of stand the right way so it would just cut the wind and not like make it. me sail away. So this is a three animal hat. Those are all um, genuine Swarovski crystals. I like to wear it so that the um, antler tip is kind of like dangerously close to my eye. And then you just pull your hair over the elastic band yeah. and there it is. That's pretty badass. That's a badass hat. That's still in sample stage. I was just kind of thinking police bobby, but it's also fun because it's a chicken on your head. How the hell did you get into taxidermy? Tell me that. I always made art as a kid. I think the turning point was I would work downtown and when I walked around I would see so many birds that had flown into buildings and I hated to think that they were just gonna go to waste or like get shoved in a trash can or something. So I bought a book on basic taxidermy and taught myself. You taught yourself? I taught myself at first and then I decided that I wanted to pursue it. So I went and got a formal education taxidermy, it's passed down from generation to generation. You don't disrespect the craft. And so I wanted to just go there and learn a basic foundation, get all my technical skills, because I just wanted to be taken seriously. This just gets tumbled a little bit. Try to keep it like under control. With birds, they're really fun to take out and you blow them dry. That's like giving a blowout to someone with like really pretty hair. And then you just have this really beautiful supple skin that you can put on a hat, on a form, do anything with. Where is the cat? Hey. Oh, it's got a bird in his mouth. Still. Yeah, he's really um, channeling his wild side. Yeah. Oh. I'm sorry, buddy. Opal ran out and killed a bird right in front of everybody. Yeah. It, it's been a crazy last five minutes, yeah. So these are the charms? Those are all talon charms. This That's is squish. Consider it the square made. A square made? Square made. I like that too. So these are a couple more hats up here. Do you want to try it on? Yeah, let me try it on. You look great. Yeah, you look awesome. That's a raccoon. Really? Yeah, he's a roadkill raccoon. That's one of my favorites. I was kind of playing with the wings as bangs and like creating your own hairline. It's a beautiful bird. And I gave him, I don't know, kind of like Elvis rhinestones. And he's like mm -hmm. shitting diamonds. I just started getting into using bones. Guess what ah. that is? What the hell is this? It doesn't even look like a bone. It looks like a piece of a plant or something. Oh, is this a, a part of a skull? It's a fox penis. Oh my God. What the hell? That's really small. It has a <laughs> bone in it though. That's sort of hardcore. Got the door. Follow me. This is the greatest byway in the city. Passion Avenue. The greatest Avenue. what? Byway? Byway. Well, this is the Italian market. And Sunny's is on the next block. So this is the spot. This is the spot where I get all my pheasants and rabbits. And today we're gonna get a guinea hen. Hi. Hi. He gets everything from a local farmer. He was doing local organic before anyone else was. And it's got beautiful feathers. It's gonna make a pretty hat and a delicious dinner. Thank you. I'm going to do my best to honor your spirit. 
and produce something as beautiful as I can with what you've left behind. I love you, I'm sorry, forgive me. I just think it's good to be like hyper aware of like, you know, your food's coming from somewhere and everything pays a price somehow. So now that it's exercised, we make the first cut. You want to go from gullet to vent. And then you just do a gentle cut. See there's that like really thin layer, that's the skin there. Just a gentle cut to kind of get the tissue separating. You can use like cornstarch and it kind of gives you like a dry thing to grip onto and then you can just start Peel peeling away. away. Peel off the coat. And then get your fingers in there. Oh wow. And just keep working it. So it's your turn. All right, this is the skin? Yeah. Okay, so then I'm just gonna go in here and pull on it and do a little of this to cut it back. You're natural. Okay. I was expecting it to be more grody, but it's really not. It's like hipsters who want to get their hands on this craft and maybe like, I guess, connect back with nature somehow. I like seeing that because it's reassuring to me, like there's a whole new wave of young taxidermists coming up. And so I don't see it dying out anytime soon. It seems like it was so taboo just 10 years ago. People are clamoring to have taxidermy pieces in their bars and their homes and their hotels. I'm, I'm really proud of my ethics and I stand by them. I only source animals that have died of natural causes or that we're going to be nourishing my family with. I like the fact that I work with death so closely, it's, it's a good reminder to see death so much. And it, by seeing it so much, you can't help but be reminded of how alive you are and how much you cherish your own life. Next week in the Bywater of New Orleans, we'll be hanging with Nikki Debbie in the studio, the club, and the streets. Greetings! Just had a great time learning about taxidermy. Let us know what you think of the episode. Would you wear this hat? Would you wear the fox penis bone on your necklace? Or maybe in an earring? Click on any of the links over here for more. And I'll see you guys next time.